you're freaking me out. I came into this conversation wondering how I'd feel at the end, whether I'd feel optimistic or not, and I don't. I I just feel like this is just something we're I think we're in a wave that's headed to the rocks, and we recognize that it's headed to the rocks, but I don't think there's much we can do about this. What do you think could be done about this? Again, as long as we're still alive, we're still in control, I think it's not too late. It may be hard, may be very difficult, but I think personal self-interest should help us. A lot of the leaders of large AI labs are very rich, very young. They have their whole lives ahead of them. If there is an agreement between all of them not to push the button, not to sacrifice next 40 years of life they have guaranteed as billionaires, which is not bad, they can slow down. I support everyone trying everything from governance, passing laws that siphons money from compute to lawyers, government involvement in any way, limiting compute, individuals educating themselves, protesting by contacting your politicians, basically anything, because we're kind of running out of time and out of ideas. So if you think you can come up with a way to prevent superintelligence from coming into existence, you should probably try that. But again, the counter argument to that is that if we don't do it, China's going to do it. And the counter argument to that is it doesn't matter who creates superintelligence. Humanity is screwed either way. And do you think that other countries would be open to these ideas? Do you think that China would be willing to entertain these ideas and recognize that this is in their own self-interest also to put the brakes on this? Chinese government is not like ours in that they are usually scientists and engineers. They have good understanding of those technologies. And I think there are dialogues between American and Chinese scientists where scientists kind of agree that this is very dangerous. If they feel threatened by us developing this as soon as possible and using it for military advantage, they also have no choice but to compete. But if we can make them feel safe in that we are not trying to do that, we're not trying to create super intelligence to take over. They can also slow down, and we can benefit from this technology, get abundance, get free resources, solve illnesses, mortality, really have a near utopian existence without endangering everyone.